Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As I cover this life with the blood of Jesus, I decree and declare that no weapon form against us shall prosper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. No weapon form against you shall prosper. No weapon form against um, your family shall prosper. No weapon form against our families will prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Rika tandi rika zuta rabashika tare basiti kiri zanda. Usati kiri katara basiti kiri zanda rabazutu. Pari katari busutu kuri katandi ria zanda. Our reading is taken from Jeremiah 33. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We're going to read Jeremiah 33. As we read, we pray, read and pray in the mighty name of Jesus. We'll be reading the scriptures and praying the scriptures. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless somebody. God bless you as you connect them. We'll be reading Jeremiah 33. Jeremiah chapter 33. We will read the scripture and pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless you. Ramasiti Kiria Zanda. God bless you. God bless your household. God bless you as you are connecting. I plead the blood of Jesus over this life and I decree and declare that no weapon formed against our lives shall prosper. No weapon formed against anybody on this life shall prosper. Every evil tongue that rises against anyone is condemned right now in the mighty name of Jesus. For it is written that this is the heritage of those who love God and are called according to his purposes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Our meditation this morning is uh, on Jeremiah 33. Hallelujah. While Jeremiah was still confined in the courts yeah, of the God, the word of the Lord came to him. A second time, we are praying this verse in the mighty name of Jesus, that the Lord will give us the grace to hear his word in the name of Jesus. The Lord will give somebody the grace to understand the word. The, word, the Lord will give somebody the grace, hallelujah, to be sensitive to his spirit, to be sensitive to his presence in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray for your family members. Pray for your community in the mighty name of Jesus, that the Lord will give us the grace to hear his word. I pray for the word, the knowledge of the word, the understanding of the word, and the wisdom of the word in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, bless somebody, anoint somebody in this place that a person will be able, will be a learner, learn to know your word, learn to understand your word, learn to get the wisdom of the word. I decree and declare that we are saved with the gift of a learner, with a gift of understanding, with the gift of the wisdom of God in the mighty name of Jesus. This is the word at verse 2. This is what the Lord says. He who made the earth, the Lord who formed it and established it, the Lord is his name. Father God, I thank you for revealing your identity to us. We thank you for giving us and revealing your identity. And we pray that we also will know our identity in you in the mighty name of Jesus. That I may know my identity in you in the mighty name of Jesus. That I may be able to understand the purposes for which you created me. I decree and declare that I am created in the image of God. That my brothers and sisters are all human race, that we are created in the image of God. That we know who our God is, for he is the one that created the heaven and earth and everything that exists in. He is the God who established the earth. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We pray with understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. My God and my Father, in this moment, we pray for your spirit, Holy Spirit, and back us, back us up. Holy Spirit, lead us now. Holy Spirit, reinforce us. Holy Spirit, overshadow us that we may be filled with your word. Hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 3 says, So call on me and I will answer you. I will tell you great and unsearchable things 
things that you know nothing about. Other verses say, call on me and I will answer you. I will show you mighty and hidden things, things that you know nothing about. Let's pray in the mighty name of Jesus. My God and my Father, this is the time, this is the day, the moment that we, your children, have gathered on this life to call upon you. We call upon you because you are the God of all creation, the God that created the heaven and earth. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord that we know that you are the one that established the earth and we call on you my god and my father there are many things that are happening in our homes there are many things that are happening on in our neighborhood in our churches there are many things that are happening in this world that we do not understand that we know nothing about but you are the god omnipotent you are the god omniscient and the god omnipresent Wherever we are connected from, we know that you are watching over each and every one of us. My brothers and sisters, pray, hallelujah, pray in the name of Jesus. I get the message often like people say, I don't know how to pray. I don't know how to pray. I don't know where to start praying or where to start reading the Bible. This is one, one of the ways that we can pray. You read the scripture and you pray. You the scripture and you pray it. And yes. I pray that the Lord will give somebody the grace. As you connect to me, with me now, open your Bible to Jeremiah 33 and let's continue. So verse 3 says, call on me and I will answer you and I will show you mighty and hidden things and things that you know nothing about. Mighty and hidden things. Brothers and sisters, life is a spiritual and the spiritual controls the physical. Whatever you are going through, whatever you see now, whatever is happening in your house, in your town, in your church, in your workplace has taken place in the spiritual before you see a certain part of it physically. Therefore, we are praying in the mighty name of Jesus uh, that the Lord will reveal to us and w the mighty thing, the things that we know nothing about that is happening. That sickness, that sickness that you are going through, that sickness that your friend has been struggling with, there is a reason. There is a mighty hand. There is a mighty power behind that sickness. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that not only the Lord will reveal it to you, that he will reveal it to you. He will also grant you the grace to pray or intercede for that brother or sister or that family member for healing. I decree and declare that the healing reign, the healing reign, the healing anointing overshadows somebody now in the mighty name of Jesus. That you will live this life and call somebody and pray for that person. Call somebody or reach out to somebody and intercede or pray for that person and that person will recover in the mighty name of Jesus. My God and my Father, we lift our neighbors into your hand and we pray for your mercy. As we pray for your mercy, we pray that you give them this ability to know that you exist, that you are God. And give them understanding of your word. Give us understanding of your word. Give us your wisdom that we will live in this earth, in this world, in your wisdom. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord bless you all as you are coming. We are reading and praying with uh, uh, Jeremiah 33, if you're just uh, catching up. Uh, um, verse 4, it says, For this is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says about the house in this city and the royal palace of Judah that have been torn down and to be used against the siege ramp and the sword in the fight with uh, the Babylonian." Hallelujah. They will be filled with the dead bodies of the people and I will slay it and uh, that I will slay in my anger and my wrath. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Lord have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on our family members and have mercy on our cities. Have mercy on us. Yes, we consent we confess our sins. We confess our sins and the sins of our sons and daughters. We confess the sins of our fathers in the mighty name of Jesus. We confess that we have wronged each other and we have wronged you. We have disobeyed your ways and we have gone by. We have done things according as we felt, according as we felt. Therefore, Father God, and our city leaders, our government, our government, 
our leaders, both the spiritual and the political leaders, the social leaders have gone astray. My God and my Father, we, your sons and daughters, have gathered on this live tonight or this morning to pray. As your word said, call on me and I will answer you. Father God, answer us out we pray for mercy. Answer us out we pray for mercy. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on our husband. Have mercy on our wives. Have mercy on our sons and daughters. Have mercy on our teachers. My God and my Father, have mercy on our school uh, our school teams, our teachers have mercy on the board of education. My God and my Father, whatever they are doing at the board of education that does not honor you, we pray, have mercy and deliver us. Deliver us from the forces of this world that are interfering with uh, our education in the mighty name of Jesus. That is how we lift the church, the body of Christ before your throne of heaven and we are praying for mercy. My God and my Father, the church belongs to you. Do not turn away your face away from the church, but rather have mercy. In your mercy, Father God, deliver the church. Deliver the church from uh, evil wickedness and deliver the church from unrighteousness. Deliver the church, the church members and the church leaders from the power of sin and death. My God and my Father, this year, 2023, we have declared on this live, on this channel, we have declared declare this year of 2024 the year of a healing and deliverance hallelujah healing and deliverance father god we are thank you already for those that you have healed and delivered from atrocity for delivered healed from sicknesses delivered from the works of the darkness the evil plots of the dark world my god and my father as i lift the church our communities to you i pray for your presence your will be done in our community as just as you set it in heaven lord we give you praise and honor and adoration and verse 6 it says nevertheless i will bring healing oh well health and healing to it hallelujah praise the lord we were just praying there for healing nevertheless after the lord would have destroyed or punished the israelites hallelujah he will now bring he said he will bring he will bring health health and healing to it i will heal my people and i will let them enjoy abundant peace and security hallelujah praise the lord this morning or this afternoon or earlier this night i read isaiah 54 verse 10 it says for the mountains may depart and the hills disappear but even then i will remain loyal i will i, I will remain loyal hallelujah I will remain loyal to you. Hallelujah. Isaiah 54 verse 10. It says, even for the mountains may depart and the hills disappear, but even then I will remain loyal to you. My covenant of blessing will never be broken. Hallelujah. This is the God, our Father, our Maker, the one who made us in His own image and likeness. In our limitation, in the moments that we became, we become weak and we have sinned, we have tampered with uh, the, the, the injustice, uh, we have uh, tampered with unrighteousness, the Lord is still saying to us that uh, He is the merciful God. He is the merciful God that after he punishes us or he let he allowed the devil to to oh, to walk with us to deal with us for a while that he is coming with a healing he's coming with a health he will restore our health and he will heal us and he said that he will heal his people and he will restore them with an abundant joy and peace and security hallelujah praise the lord father god i thank you for your loyalty for being loyal i thank you for your faithfulness i give you honor and adoration because you are the faithful god faithful god unchanging god the god that does not change his promises the god that that does not change his mind my god and my father receive praise and honor and adoration we thank you for your mercy we thank you for delivering us we thank you for healing us we thank you for restoring our joy we thank you for restoring our peace we thank you for restoring our security that is why at this moment we lift 
every 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 nation that is involved in any form of fight today will lift them all israel the pack the the um um the russian um all the countries where there is a fight will lift them before your throne asking for mercy Father God, do not abandon these nations. Do not turn your face away. But in your mercy, as we are interceding, deliver them. Deliver them and restore them in the mighty name of Jesus. Restore them. For it is written that you do not rejoice in the loss of every, anyone. My God and my Father, restore the nations that they may come and know you. Hallelujah. Verse 7 says, I will bring Ju Judah and Israel back from captivity. Hallelujah. That's still the restoration. And we will rebuild them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It says that we build them as they were before. My God, thank you for the restoration. Thanking God for the restoration. Restoration of our, our finances. Restoration of our health. Restoration of our children's life. Restoration of our mind according as the according to the Lord's purpose. Restoration of our faith. You used to believe in Christ. You used to be a follower of Christ. But reach a point where you said, no, I'm done with this Christianity. May the Lord restore you. May the Lord have mercy on you. May the Lord restore you in the mighty name of Jesus. There are many people that you know. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There are many people that you know that have given up and they lost their faith. They are discouraged. Let's pray for them that the Lord will have mercy on them and restore them. Give them the peace that they may rest on the Lord. Hallelujah. Rest in the Lord. He says, I will cleanse from them all the sins, hallelujah, that they have committed against me, and I will forgive all their sins of rebellious rebellion against me. Hallelujah. These are the promises of the Lord. Our God is the God of promise. Our God is the God that watches over his promises that they shall come to pass. Brothers and sisters, like this life, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord and pray with me in the mighty name of Jesus. We ought to pray. The Bible says that man ought to pray all time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When you have an opportunity like this, seize it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My God. Then this city will bring me renewed joy, praise, and honor before all nations on earth that hear all the good things that I do for it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Then they will be in our way and will tremble at the abundant prosperity and peace I provide for them. Hallelujah. May the Lord provide abundant peace for to somebody. May the Lord bring peace in our nation. May the Lord bring peace in our community. May the Spirit of God of peace hallelujah reside in our homes peace in our community peace in our cities peace in our nation peace in our state peace in our countries in the mighty name of jesus restoration of our prosperity abundant prosperity may the earth respond to us and yield fruit hallelujah yield its crops for us in the mighty name of jesus may the seas and the rivers produce its resources for us hallelujah we need the seafood hallelujah we pray for seafood, abundant seafood, good health for the, the, the sea beans. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. This is what the Lord says in verse 10. You say about this place, it is a desolate waste without a people or animal. Yet the towns of Judah and the streets of Jerusalem that are deserted, inhabited by neither people nor animals, there will be there will be heard once more the sound of joy and glad hallelujah and gladness the voice of the bride and the bridegroom hallelujah the voice of those who bring thanks offering to the house of the lord singing hallelujah saying hallelujah praise the lord give thanks to the lord the lord is saying that you said you have seen that the streets of jerusalem the streets of judah hallelujah are deserted there's no animal there is no human being but the lord is saying that there shall be 
they, they, they shall be voices sounding. They shall hear the voices of people and animals. That the bride and the grooms are going to come together. There is going to be the voices of all these things in the house of the Lord again saying, Give thanks to the Lord Almighty, for the Lord is good and his love endures forever. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, may we still give thanks to the Lord Almighty God and thank him for all that he is doing. Even when we think that he is not doing anything, when we don't see the things that he is doing. But God is still doing things. You are breathing. You are breathing. You are still breathing. You have gone to work and you came back. You have met family members. Let's give thanks to the Lord and make him understand that we understand that he is good and that his love endures forever. For I will restore the fortune of the land as they were before, says the Lord. We thank God. We praise him, the God of restoration, the God that restores our fortune, the God that restores our finances. Anybody that has lost some finances, some businesses, I decree and declare restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. Restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. I restore, I speak restoration of your health in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak restoration of uh, the mind of that child that is losing it in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak restoration of that brother who is a uh, who is a struggling with anxiety, I speak restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. As I plead the blood of Jesus over you, brother, I decree and declare that that anxiety is gone now in the mighty name of Jesus. Anxiety, leave him. We speak restoration, peace, peace in the name of Jesus. My God and my Father, we speak health, health and healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, I thank you for this moment. I give you praise, honor, and adoration in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord bless you, Lucille. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you and grant you your prayers. Virginia, the Lord bless you. May the Lord grant all an answer to all your prayer. Noah, God, the Lord bless you and strengthen you. Hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus. Queen, Queen Mama, Queen Mama, the Lord bless you and strengthen you in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone under my voice who is a family member is in the hospital right now. I decree and I declare mighty healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone under my voice that is in court right now, I speak the peace of God that superpasses all understanding and I speak justice, the justice of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Tia Grad, the Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Maria, God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, amen. Uh, yes, I'm going back to my studies. The Lord bless you. God bless you. Father God, I thank you for this moment of prayer. I thank you for this moment of uh, reading. I thank you for your word. I thank you for your promises that you ought watch over that it must come to pass. I give you praise, honor, and adoration. Faithful God, I will worship you. I will honor you all the days of my life. I will decree and declare that you are the God that is faithful. You are my God, my my father, the God of my blessing, the God of my prosperity, the God of my wealth, the God of my health, the God of my healing. I am healed. I am blessed. My community is healed. My community knows the peace of God. My community knows justice. My leaders understand what they have been called to do, and they are working in the spirit and in the power of God. Or that our community is overshadowed, filled with the spirit of God. That no evil weapon that is set against us shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. We are powerful. We walk in the power of God. We walk in the understanding of God. We do everything with the knowledge of God, the wisdom of God. Brothers and sisters, the Lord bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, amen.